What is going on guys, it's me Randall465 coming at you today with my first ever Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies tutorial and in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to open up the Pack-A-Punch on the brand new map um, I don't know how to pronounce it, Quiet so please do not ask like <laughs> but I'm not going to attempt it either um, but in order for us to do this, we need probably roughly about 12,000 points without buying guns um, which may be a little bit difficult uh, we also need to complete the sewer quest and the bunker quest um, just, just so we can get power on and things like that And then we just need to open a few doors here and there Which I am still learning what, which doors to open So you're going to have to bear with me um, I may get a bit lost throughout the video uh, As the game did only come out today I guess So I'm still not 100% knowing my way around But I know majority of the way um, So this is round one complete we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make sure we have quick revive. And we also want a fresh pistol. Just so we can, you know, get our points up. What? You just died like a pussy whip bitch? Okay. Cool. Um. Fuck off me, bitch. Alright, let them hit me. It's fine. We're going to use these, actually. I was just going to use these to point her. But I don't feel that would be very beneficial. This is the last zombie right here. So there we go. So the first door you want to open is obviously this one right here that leads into the village. Um, now, I will take you step by step on how to turn these valves on, just in case you don't know. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to check a right at this lovely little armor machine. And here is your first valve. You just want to simply hold square or X, whatever, whatever platform you're on will determine the button. We have three of these to do, which only takes um, a minute or so. Um, so, that's number one. You wait till it goes green and hits 60% pressure. Second one is you want to go over here. And you want to do the same thing, you just want to simply hold square Do it hit 60 and then goes green That's number two Number three is literally just come back this way just Make your way around the zombies where the flickering light is You want to come down here, you want to go ahead and open this gate Cost a thousand points And then here is valve number three Same thing, you just want to simply hold square or whatever button it is for you. So that is all three done for the sewer challenge. Now we want to go ahead and get out of there before we go down. Yeah, that, that'd be embarrassing. That'd be very embarrassing. But, so the next step is to come through here and you want to head straight towards this big gun. You hold that. And then you want to kill all the fuckboys that come up for it. Easy to do. Nearly done. Alright. Calm it, calm it. We're just trying to do this to point hall right now. There we go. We in the now we're just going to go buy some ammo real quick before we proceed. Um, I feel ammo is going to be beneficial to us. We just want to buy cheap ammo. We want to basically keep our points up. We, we, it's, it's just the overall best way for it. So anyway, once you've blown open this big hole in the floor, you just want to drop down. You want to continue straight to go up the ramp. Come to this generator. Simply go up to it. Hold square to turn it on. And that is now complete the bunker quest done. So now we can go ahead and open the bunker if you have enough points, which we do. So that's job done. If it ever hurries up. Come on, bitch. There we go. Right. We can now kick it through the door. So once we've gone ahead and done that bunker quest, now 
All we simply need to do is uh, just head back towards the starting area, just outside the village. Um, I should have told you this at the start, instead of saying going through the bunker. We didn't need to open the bunker. Um, and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up this gate. Near enough. Fuck off! Right, we, we have enough points. We're just going to lead these away. We're going to need a lot of points here anyway, so it don't matter. Now, I believe we need power on as well. Oh, fuck! There we go. I don't think we really want to get that, but at the same time, something's telling me get it. Alright, let's go ahead and get that. There we go. And buy some ammo. Now we've got enough to open this gate. Once opening that gate, you simply want to come over here. Um, we may need to do power. No, we don't. Okay. Right. And then you want to open that gate. Now, you need these areas open in order to do this um, for all the sewers to work. So once you open that area, you then want to go back towards the bunker. As that is that done for that section of the map. Just for the time being, it is wave 5, so we have got stinkers. Uh, I wish there was like an extended mag for this. Oh, fuck! Right, so I know we're going to need the power one. So, in order to get power on, very, very simple. Find a salt mine door right there, which we don't need. But we do need to um, enable the power. So, we're just going to wait for these stinkers real quick. Where are they? Hello? Whoa! Get off me. Right, so. We want to go this way. We're going to go ahead and open the laboratory door. We're going to run down, we're going to follow it around to the right, and then we're going to chuck a left. We're going to come all the way over here. And if we chuck another left, we're going to find this panel, you just want to hold square on it, turn it on. You are on a timer, so you, you do want to do this fairly quick. So we're just going to jump straight down. We're just going to run straight back towards the bunker. This gun's getting very weak already. I'm just going to try and weaken them up. But the next door is this one over here. Just to the opposite, complete opposite side. And then you want to go down here. You want to go through here. And right in front of you is the second one. And now we can open the salt mine door. Um, which is just more points, I guess, to waste. Uh, we're just going to clear these out for a sec. That was a lot of damn zombies. Right, we should be able to get around them now. So what, we're going to buy that just, just to be safe. Although now we don't have enough points to open this door. We're just going to farm some more easy XP and points. And yeah, God knows what else. Oh, fuck off! Right, we got enough. So we're going to go ahead and boom. Right, now boom. There we go. Right, so now that's the bunker. Challenge complete. Um, that was my bad. Right. So, the next step is... Depending what side you want to go from first. Considering you're already in the control room once you open the salt door. You just simply oh. want to not do that just yet. You, you want to go this way. And we do, in fact, have some more doors to open. So just give me a sec. Um... We need to make our way down into the sewers, which I've gone the totally wrong way. As my house phone starts ringing. There we go. Um, I believe the best way down to the sewers would just simply be here. No, that's where we went, right? Okay. It's the other way. <laughs> my bad. So we're going to go this way. You're going to just cut through here. Pretty much go the same way as you previously went to the other zone. And then you want to drop down. 
You want to chuck a right, and you will have one more door to open, which is right here. Once you've done that, you want to go proceed into the sewers, and you want to go towards oh, the big metal cage, and there will be a button right here that you can push. So you want to go ahead and push that. And we're going to move out of the way very quick. So what that's going to do is that just raise the cage up. Very simple, easy. Um, and now all you want to do is you want to head back up to the control room, which was this way. I'm still learning the map, so you're going to bear with me. I'm going to go for some kills here. We need the points. Now, we do, in fact, have everything open, I think. Um, to do this. So we just want to quickly go back up to the bunker, can I say? Which we're now here. And if you come back from the way, if you've done it in the order that we've done it, um, it's literally going to be on your right there. You want to go over to this big black bum hole. Uh, I don't know why I said black. Totally inappropriate. You want to hold square and you want to go down it. And once you're at the bottom, you just want to find the button and push it. And then that's just going to pull the cage up to get a little bit higher. Um, so now the next step is we need to go back up top towards the bunker. We're going to go all the way back up. Just follow the same route up. And this time you want to go across to the laboratory, which is this side. So you want to follow this way towards the trap, the big circular trap. You want to come down here and then on your left you will see the golden bum hole Virginia. Same thing, all square, jump straight down it. There we go, pop your uncle, push the button. Okay, so that's step two. So now, the next one is we want to go over to the tower. So that means we want to go back up. You can open another door. Um, back that way, but I don't want to waste any more points because I think I might have one more door to open over there And I don't I don't want to play that game of You know trying to get the points. So we're just gonna run back this way anyway. It, it doesn't harm. It's early rounds And you know it's effective um, So we want to in fact go this way on the left back up here through the village Stamina up would really come in handy Now you just want to run back to the uh, door that we originally opened. Now I just realised we do have one more door to open. Um, no we don't, we already opened it. Yes we did, okay. So we want to go through here. We want to go right to the very back left. Over here. And another golden bum hole of Virginia. Same thing. Last one. There we go, Bob Drunkel and Alakazam. There you have it. That is indeed the Pack-A-Punch machine. I will get 5,000 points real quick and I will show you that it does in fact work. And there you have it. Fully upgraded uh, weapon. You can see the pattern on it. And yeah, so guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, many more tutorials due to come, uh, including how to do all quests solo and things like that. Uh, other than that, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.